What happened out there, buddy? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this video, we're gonna create this landing page. I've got this how-to guide right here. I've also got the one-page how-to guide PDF, and I have the front page, if I were to have multiple pages, of my how-to guide. Let's get in and set this landing page up. So one of my favorite tools to use is ConvertKit. I'll show you in a little bit why and how powerful it is to use an email marketing platform like ConvertKit, but I recommend it over your own kind of form because it really does help you validate any kind of spam coming in. Just full disclosure, there is a pricing I do recommend down the road, but by default, you can use this for free up to a certain limit, or you can pay to get a few more pieces in there, but you do get the unlimited landing pages for free with ConvertKit. So with that, I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna head into my convert kit. I'm gonna log in here, log in. And just like that, I'm logged into convert kit. If you are brand new to convert kit, then you have basically zero metrics over here on the left. I use a bunch of landing pages, so it even tells me more data. So what I wanna do is up in the top, and everyone gets access to this by default, free, paid, whatever. I'm gonna have to grow in landing pages and forms. Now again, mine's gonna look a little more advanced only because I've got a lot more landing pages because I use it for everything. What's also great about the landing pages is it'll tell you the conversion rate of who's hit the landing page and who's actually subscribed. It's kind of cool. One of my more successful ones, I don't know, 33%, 37, 13. Okay, that one's not the best converting rate, but it doesn't matter to me because to me, what's important is someone was able to get the source code that I was given to them. So what I wanna do here is I either wanna to go to create new if you do have a few, or at the very top again, landing pages and forms, and you're gonna find that create new. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose one of these two. Now for me, I don't wanna use the form. I actually want a real landing page I can link to on my website. So on the landing page, if I scroll down the page, there's a whole bunch of these. Now if you see a better one that you wanna use, go for it but I almost always go to the park one. The park for me is like the simplest, but also the most effective. I can have a picture, some text, and the first name and last name. To me, a good landing page is not complex. I don't want a lot of stuff. And as you can see, they've got a lot of good options, but for me, I almost always go back to this park one. So I'm gonna say park, and I'm gonna call this one my YouTube YouTube example landing page. Perfect. Hit the return key and it locks this page in. Now what I wanna do is I wanna change this big picture of Breeze. I'm gonna click on it and replace the picture and choose a file to upload. Now in my how-to guide, I'm gonna grab the JPG or the JPEG and I'll just say okay and cancel. For some reason, mine doesn't for some reason lock in, but if I hit cancel, mine works fine. Not quite sure what's going on, but it should work with no problem. Perfect. There's my how-to guide. Now, if you do want a picture in the background, if I hit to general general settings, general styles, what I can find is the image background. I just want a dark gray color because I want less images to load, which means it'll load that much faster. But you might want a picture in the background. If so, all you have to do is re-click this picture and upload a file for the background. Again, for me, I'm gonna keep it just with the color, which is this dark gray. What I next wanna do is this 2020, you can have it, but my thing is I want less distractions on my page, so I'm gonna take it right out because in theory, I'm also in 2023 for the copyright. Now, if you are paying for ConvertKit, you can also take out the ConvertKit badge. By default, on the free version, you cannot. I'll just do it since I am paying for it. Now what I get to do is I can change all this text in here. So I'm gonna say, download the how to, how go guide, how to guide. And I'll say this is a five page PDF. And I can talk about this how to guide is filled with how-to information. Grab it and go. Perfect. So I have some information about the how-to guide. I can then change this get a free ebook to download the how-to guide. 
again, I can start changing everything. This menu on the right hand side, whenever I click something, it changes to whatever I'm actually in. So again, the picture over here, the button over here. I also really keep this respect your privacy and subscribe anytime because people, if they want to subscribe, go for it. More power to them. I actually advocate, I recommend telling people subscribe and unsubscribe at any time because you want people off the list. If they don't want to be on, give them the easiest way out the door. Do not make them stuck. So with that, I have this set up. I'm going to click on save to save all my changes. However, what I ultimately want to do is I want to have someone download this how-to guide. So in here, I'm going to go up to settings. And in this settings, it's like, hey, when a visitor subscribes, perfect, success. Now check your email to confirm your subscription. Here's the reason why I really recommend services like ConvertKit. Let's say someone decides to spam the bleep out of your subscription. And it's like, oh my God, I just got 10,000 emails that are all spam. Hang on, don't worry, ConvertKit has you. They have a two-step process. In order for you to get this download, you have to confirm your subscription. What that means is it'll automate an email to go out to confirm that the person is actually using a legitimate email. If someone were to spam your account, and I see this all the time on my account, I get thousands and thousands of emails that are not legitimate and those do not count for your overall count for emails when it comes to ConvertKit. It's really awesome. So again, I really recommend you keep this. It's pretty self-explanatory, but don't change this because you do want someone to know they have to confirm their subscription in order for it to work. Now, what I really want to do is come down to the incentive and sent incentive email. Yep, this is totally fine. If you want to change it, you're welcome to by clicking edit. But for right now, I'm just gonna head down to this and say download. After confirming, redirect to choose a file. And now what I get to do is click on my how-to guide, drop it in, it kind of saves it right there. And if I do wanna change the email contents, it basically says, thanks for signing up, click the link below to confirm description and be on your way. Good to have you, perfect. So I don't really mess with this one. This one's just a simple block as saying, hey, we got you, we're good, save and go. So with that, I'm gonna save right here. And then when I save this, what's gonna happen is your landing page has been saved and I click publish. I can share this link on any project I have. If I am in WordPress, I can also embed the page with our plugin. To me, I recommend you create the link. And here's the thing because I want someone to actively click it because once they click, they're more motivated to download on the actual form. They go, all right, this is simple. Think of your Amazon account. You're in the shopping cart, but once you buy, you're in a different arena when it comes to the website because you want to focus on people just clicking on the first name and email address and downloading the guide. So I copy this. If we want to take a look at this, I'll copy it. I'll drop it in right here. And just like that, download the how-to guide. First name is me, info at a designer who codes, and download the how-to guide. Perfect, success. Now check your email to confirm your subscription. If I come over to my email box, what I will get is a little email that says, just like we said, thanks for signing up. Click the link below to confirm your subscription and you'll be on your way. I click this and just like that, I have my how-to guide. Pretty cool, ConvertKit makes it an attachment and makes it really easy.